Around 2017, Tokyo Myers won the Britain's Got Talent and he won it in a season of appearances that just spellbound everybody, including Simon Cowell, who brought him over to America's and America's Got Talent and sat beaming with delight when, I think that was in 2018, when everybody just went, whoa, oh my God, who is this guy? He's a pianist, a classical pianist. He also is a guy that plays his own drums, he, uh, electronic drums and all the electronic equipment around him. He mastered over a series of years. And one thing I learned about Tokyo Myers is that recently the person who influenced him way back in 2012 and inspired him to continue with classical music and his love for it, but develop it in a modern way by mixing EDM music and background um, techno sounds to accompany what he was playing and brought together a marriage of wonderment. That's the only word I can think of. It's spell bounding just to watch his performance, which you're going to see. He did this song some years ago. It's called Angel. It's my first time to hear it in its entirety, but his the person that influenced him died recently. And I'm going to give you a bit of background on the person that influenced Tokyo Myers to be the performer that you are about to be blown away with, simply blown away with. He won Britain's Got Talent because he has t so much talent in his tiny little finger that other artists only could wish for. He doesn't sing, but the performance that he gives will just leave you floating, thinking, what have I watched there? Because I, I only caught up with him recently. I was looking into classical music. I wanted to relax. And then I came across Rauchi Sakamoto is a phenomenal influence in the musical world when it comes to theme music for films, when it comes to classical music, when it comes to influencing millions of people around the world. He's from Tokyo. He's a Japanese composer, record producer and actor who pursued a diverse range of styles as a solo artist, just like Tokyo Myers. He is multifaceted, multi-talented, uh, and this is in honor of this this particular, I felt, how can I combine the two today? Because this man has recently died. Rauchi Sakamoto. And Sakamoto was such an influence on Tokyo Mai as my guest today that I felt in homage to him will play the aptly titled Angel. Because I'm sure Sakamoto is now up there as one of the angels, looking down on all the people that he's influenced like Tokyo, smiling, that he reached out to so many people around the world. And as I said, he is a record producer. He was at Sakamoto, an actor. And with his bandmates, Sakamoto influenced and pioneered a number of electronic music genres. Just like Tokyo, he's influenced a lot of people to try and replicate what he's done and influenced a lot of people as well. So Sakamoto began his career at the university in the 1970s as a session museum producer and arranger. And his first major success came in 78 as co-founder of YMO. He currently pursued a solo career, releasing the experimental electronic fusion album Thousand Knives in 78. Two years later, he released the album B2 Unit. And it can it included the track Riot in Lagos, which was significant in the development of electronic and hip hop music. Think about that. This Japanese composer was so influential. He, he influenced the electronic sounds of hip hop music. An electro, an electro music that Tokyo incorporates into his performances. As a film score composer, Sakamoto won an Oscar a BAFTA, a Grammy, two Golden Globe Awards, Merry Christmas, Mr. Lawrence, we all know that, me growing up, that was in 83, marked his debut both as an actor and a film score composer. 
Its main theme was adapted into the single Forbidden Colours, which became an international hit. His most successful work as a film composer was The Last Emperor, absolutely phenomenal, and which he continued earning accolades composing for films such as The Sheltering Sky, Little Buddha and The Revenant. On occasion, Sakamoto also worked as composer on a scenario writer or anime and video games. He was awarded the Ordre des Arts des Lettres from the Minister of Culture of, of France in 2009 for his contributions to music. That is as far as I'm going because I want to get on to our special guest today, who is Torville Ashbourne M. Jones better known on the stage name as Tokyo Myers. Or some people will say Mayers, it, 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 depending, depending on your English pronunciation and the country you come from. I can see now where Tokyo got his influence from, his Japanese influencer, Sakamoto. Now, Tokyo is an English musician, record producer, best known for his work as a pianist. He won the reality show, as I said, British Got Talent, and it was in 2000. And 17, after which he released many of his independent compositions, including his debut album, Our Generation. Now, he was born in London, he's of West Indian descent, and went to St. George's Catholic School. He witnessed the murder of the school's Irish headmaster, Philip Lawrence, at the hands of local youth branch of the Wo Xing Wo Gang and was ushered to safety inside the building by his music teacher. He later studied with a full scholarship at the Royal College of Music. It's never deterred him, but Tokyo is one of those people that people say he's so involved in his performances. And I think what happens is he's been influenced by Sakamoto. He witnessed the killing of his music teacher at the school. And that comes through it resonates when he plays he's so involved he almost goes into a trance and people wonder why and i think with reading what i have just done out to everybody i think now we get a better understanding why this guy just goes into that trance i almost feel he he brings the spirit of sakamoto who was alive uh, up until recently he died in march of this year and he brings in the influence of the death that he witnessed, the spiritual death, into his mind. And it's through that influence, through that embodiment, almost like an osmosis effect where you just absorb their energies privately, that he goes into the trance and then he, it transpires into his performances and outcomes what you're going to witness, something extraordinary beyond words. I can't describe his performances, they're just spellbinding. So, right up to recently, he was, as I said, a guest on The American Got Talent, along with Stuart Copeland performing Safe and Sound, and the English singer, singer Grace J Davis performed the vocals. That was up until recently. And people have asked, where has Tokyo Myers gone to? He has come out with some live performances, he has done sporadic things, he hasn't disappeared all the way. I've got this funny feeling Tokyo will be back with a bang for all his fans. And he will come back with extraordinary music on a higher level. His mentor has recently died. I think he'll be influenced by music Sakamoto has written and performed himself. And he will incorporate that into his EDM mix. And I see an album coming. I, I Do you know what I say to people? watch this space and I'll keep you informed. I'll actually make a point of following this through after I've uploaded this video, just for the fans, because people want more. And when people say, want more of what, who don't know him? More of this.
hope you find somebody. I hope you find somebody. I hope you find somebody to love. Somebody to love. Somebody to love. Well, that was the extraordinary Tokyo Mai sing an angel and I put it in homage to his mentor Sakamoto from Japan who died recently just to finish off this video it was with great sadness that he died to millions of people around the world and an announcement on Facebook on its page said thank you for your tremendous outpour of love support for your stories Sakamoto's management team will keep his social media accounts active to share news and celebrate his works and legacy. And that was from SKMT Management. And they gave a whole series of links. And I will give you what uh, some of Sakamoto's links in this description along with to Tokyo Myers. We need to keep an eye on Tokyo Myers. This was from five years ago now. But he, I reckon he'll be back soon. Let's hope so. Fingers crossed. There's no lyrics. It's about the performance, this video. It was a build up to the performance. And now it's a slow down to say thank you for listening. Good, goodbye. And Tokyo, we need more of what you offer. I'll be featuring more of his previous tracks, obviously, over the coming months. But I implore you to listen to even if they're a couple of years old now, the tracks he's come out with on YouTube, on his channel, because they're extraordinary. Every single one of them. I hope you agree. Take care for now. Bye-bye.